Donald Trump. He tops the latest Fox poll with 18% of the vote. I spoke with Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce about him earlier today. Listen to this. Trump intrigues me, and I think it's, he's very interesting, and now we know with his uh, 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 financial disclosures that he's not a blowhard when it comes to uh, money and what he's accomplished. But the media always says that about somebody that they're especially frightened of, and that also intrigues me, that the media is that frightened of Trump. All right, let's get to National Review's David Paul Kuhn, who watches the media and watches politics very, very carefully. You come from the media, don't you? I do. Politico. I do. Politico, real clear politics. So are you on the left or what? I am. Uh, I call it like I see it. I don't care. Are you on the left or what? Uh, I'm not. I call it like I see it. Ask me a question. You can judge for yourself. Okay, what do you think of Trump? I think he's a Republican nightmare. <laughs> okay. And the reason he's a Republican nightmare, it's really this simple. He could go third party. If he goes third party, the Republicans have no chance of winning oh, the presidency. Come on, back up a little bit. Okay. He's a long way away from going the third party route at this stage, isn't he? I don't think so. I think he now sees that he actually is popular. He has a huge following. His ceiling and floor are about equal. He's not going to get much more popular, but I'm not sure he's going to, he's not going to drop off the radar like we saw in the last presidential primary. And I would say that if Trump goes third party, what will happen is he will win white working class voters from Republicans and consolidate Hispanics for Democrats. He will be Ross Perot, but good on television. He is a nightmare for the GOP. Well, that's, the premise is that he goes the third party route. Now, supposing he doesn't go the third party route, he just stays in the race among mm -hmm. Republicans, he's going to be a big upset in the forthcoming debate early next month. You still say he's a nightmare for Republicans? So let's say he doesn't go third party. Then he yeah. matters because he influences the race. He's not going to be the Republican nominee. But the question is, he takes away, how does Ted Cruz respond? He takes away Ted Cruz's energy. Yep. Even Rand Paul, an anti-Washington sentiment, that gravitates to Trump. Jeb Bush can look more presidential. Jeb Bush can look more moderate, yep. but yet still show sympathy for the sentiments behind Trump's populism. Yep. So for Jeb Bush, he's a blessing. And for Ted Cruz, he's, a, he's, he's definitely a negative, a drawback. Look, if you've got a background in politics, and I know you have, yeah. politics and media, fair enough, don't you find it a little bit refreshing? Okay, you don't like what Donald Trump's saying, but he's going right at it. He's very clean cut. You know exactly what the man is saying, and he doesn't back down. And people like that. Don't you have some admiration for that? I think, not only do I have admiration for that, but I think that's what the political media is missing. The yeah. fact is, is that yeah. Trump, Trump, excuse me, is not all resentment. Trump is truth to them. If the most important finding in the recent Fox News poll is that 59% of Republicans said Trump has guts. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? Yeah. People loved George Wallace, not just because of race issues, but because they felt he called to like you see it, that he had guts. Ronald they Reagan. loved Ross Perot. But and, Ronald Reagan. And that's what I was about to get to. Ronald Reagan and Richard Nixon won the presidency because they took that third party outside Washington energy and they consolidated it into their movement. And that's the lesson for the Republican candidates. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to heed that lesson. All right, David Paul Kuhn, thank you very much for joining us. We do appreciate it. Come back, okay? Thank you. All right.